Hi, I'm James Hamilton from Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, and my taper jig is better than yours. To be honest, this isn't my taper jig. It's just the one that I use the most because it's the best one out there, in my opinion. It was designed by Shaker furniture maker Richard Beebe, and it appeared in Fine Woodworking Magazine more than a decade ago. I believe it was issue 178. My version is slightly different, but we'll get to that shortly. What makes this jig better than most of them out there? It's safer, for one thing. The wider body keeps your hands further from the blade, especially when working with narrow stocks, such as chair legs. And it works like a sled, securing your workpiece during the cut, while your hands just naturally take a safe position on the rear fence. A movable fence sets the angle of the cut, while a long hold down pinches down on the workpiece, keeping it in place. To produce the levering action required for a firm hold, there's a raised arc near the hold down's pivot point. All of this makes for a safe, easily adjustable jig. Most of the changes I made on my version were minor. Slightly beefier hold down, thicker base for stiffness, and a heavier lower profile fence that I think is more comfortable to use to push the sled, and therefore it's more likely to be the place where you put your hands during the cut. But the biggest change I made was in the way the jig is guided. The original version called for a runner, which slid in your table saw's miter track. I made mine to be guided by the saw's fence. Why? because by backing the jig away from the blade, you can then cut angled edges on plywood panels. Is my jig better than Richard Beebe's version? Probably not, but it does suit the type of work that I do a little bit better. And I can pretty much guarantee it's better than most of the taper jigs I've seen other folks using over the years. If you want to build my version, I put a set of free dimension drawings up on our website. This is just for a limited time though, so head over there now. I'll put a link in the notes below this video, or you can just go to stumpynubs.com and click on the homemade tools banner near the top of the page. There you'll find all kinds of cool tool plans, which are how we support the free content we produce. So you may consider buying one of the other plans while you're there to keep the free tips, tricks, and tutorials flowing. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, where you'll find all sorts of free content designed to make you a better woodworker. It's free at stumpynubs.com. Happy tapering.